killed. But can they help you with your shopping? Paul Hunter finds a more than $2 billion will be spent today with the click of a mouse. It's the biggest cyber shopping day in North America. Statistics aren't available here, but 131 million people in the United States are expected to shop online. That's up slightly from last year. The real jump, though, is in how much we're buying. This morning, the number of transactions was up 21 percent. Millions of those orders will go through Amazon, and now the online superstore is promising to revolutionize how you get your purchases. Paul Hunter is with us for that. So, Paul, what exactly is Amazon proposing? Hey, Peter, well, look, you're a last-minute shopper, right? So this will interest you. Imagine this. A click on your computer and your purchase is delivered to your door within minutes by a drone. It's the promotional video that's got the whole world talking. Keep your eyes on the yellow box inside something you've just ordered online. And grabbing hold to the outside, forget about salespeople, the post office or couriers. This may well be the future of online shopping. Delivery by drone. Yes, right to your front door in yes. 30 minutes flat, unveiled last night on the program 60 Minutes. Let me show you something. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This. This is? These are octocopters. The head of retail giant Amazon says it's still a few years away from reality, but they're close. I know this looks like science fiction. It's not. Wow. And they take off. And Jeff Bezos adds drones are good only for small, lightweight stuff at least for now. It won't work for everything. You know, we're not going to deliver kayaks or no. table saws this way. Right. Delta wings. It also won't work without the right legislation. The technology, and what technology it is, is way ahead of laws governing what flies where and how. Though drones themselves are not new, the U.S. is only just looking at how to properly regulate them for general use, targeting new laws for 2015. Privacy issues, for example, are huge. With regard to Amazon's proposal, there's also an extra aspect they have to worry about, which is how will we deal with falling aircraft or falling objects from those aircraft. So there are a lot of regulatory hurdles, not necessarily technological hurdles. Still, Amazon's not alone on this. Pizza companies, of course, are thinking drone. And a startup in Australia is looking at them for delivering textbooks. Though keep in mind, as this wedding video underlines, the technology itself isn't yet quite perfect. But they'll get better. And if Amazon has its way, before long, they'll be delivering everywhere. And all of it, Peter, coming soon, it would seem, to a landing pad near you. Got one right here. Thanks, Paul. Paul Hunter in Washington. Well, Amazon says 300 items will be ordered per second today, and its sales may come at the expense of lower Black Friday spending. One trade group predicts that spending fell for the first time ever over the American Thanksgiving weekend. The U.S. National Retail Federation says sales were down nearly 3 percent, but sales over the past four days still top $57 billion.